All right, welcome to another day of Ether Raids. We're taking on Monday by the looks of it. And we're going to use the hit and run scene here, the uh, Gale Force squad. Um, basically, what we're going to do is uh, initiate on that freer and then figure out the rest from there. Interesting that there's only six units here. I mean, um, certainly could have put a far save in, um, but I guess it's a choice depending on your defense setup. Uh, I think you lose more lift this way, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but, I mean, if it's getting you wins, then why not go for it? Um, probably could have even put in another nuke, but I guess from there it's easy to bait out another nuke from that position. And they probably wanted to keep the map layout as it is, uh, because it's easier to control once you set it up a specific way. So if you add another variable, then it's going to be hard to predict. Uh, very interesting choice here to go with the special spiral. Uh, a plus 10 minion here, Wings of Mercy 4. And Carlet here, who I suspect will be the one doing the majority of the damage with the Fatal Smoke there. Freya here with no weapon is an interesting choice as well. I'm not sure what the plan is, but uh, the obstruct means that we have to initiate on him or go around the back um, after breaking the dark shrine. Um, but I'm going to go straight up, step on the trap there um, and figure out whether or not it's real and then back out. Uh, and not a lot of threat range here, particularly because Freyr doesn't have his weapon equipped, which is again a very interesting choice. Um, but once we break the structures here, we'll be able to go up and figure out the rest from there. Probably that's why he chose this map, because it's easy to put all of your structures in the front row and then... Well, I guess you could probably do that with other maps as well, but, but this one in particular um, gives you a lot more room to work with as it relates to blocking the opponent on turn one. But we're still going to be... A, the, t the turn doesn't matter. The turn counts ready? don't matter as long as we're able to um, yes. attack Message received. Freyr, damage... Well, we are going to be able to attack Freyr. Um, and damage him. Uh, primarily, I'd want to go and take out uh, Triandra, but she will be out of range because I'm not going to break the Dark Shrine. I'm just going to go straight on that trap. So we're going to have to leave that for later. I'm noticing that I do actually heavily, heavily rely upon the warp terrain, uh, the, uh, the green terrain that Radita provides. I wasn't it's so bright out. paying a tool. Oh, we almost get this. Just one is a difference. It would be good to just take him out on this turn as well. I'll handle this. Um, but I, if that in. trap is real, then I suspect that I'll be stuck. So I think I need to set up again for turn two because I'm not in the correct positions to retreat if that trap turns out to be Message real. Received. So I was saying that I actually use the green terrain a lot more than I realized. It's actually... A big part of my strategy here because all of the warp shenanigans that this team will offer or has to its um, availability, I mean the enemy team, the defense, uh, will be shut down by the Turin Green here and um, it's not something that I uh, actively paid attention to. Um, I still think she's not the best unit, but the terrain is actually very useful and the fact that it's on a mythic who gives the speed blessing means that I probably won't drop her anytime soon. Although she doesn't necessarily play that significant of a ready? role on this particular team. I'm not getting this because uh, I'm not moving. Well, I still wouldn't have, I still would probably be one because it's just one less movement from the clash. Message received. Um, yeah, so Radita still isn't playing a, a significant role on this team aside from it's the so warp uh, inhibitants. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is a, a useful uh, addition. Alright, so I didn't get the quad there. Did I not get the no follow up? No. Oh, yes, I did. Speed check? Hmm. That Frey is very bulky for not having his weapon. Or. This. Is it the merges? Or a proper C um, S slot skill, whatever that is. All right, so we have the choice here of taking out Triandra, which I'm probably going to do. Message received. Because that's one less dancer to worry about. Um, and then there's Grima, who I'm not sure how I'm going to take out yet, because um, she is far saving. So it's going to be either melee. Well, no, I don't think we're going to be able to get 
that Grima for melee range because none of my calves are fast enough or going to be fast enough to take her out, I don't believe. Uh, she is a very fast unit. Nine. My god, that's like nothing. <laughs> um, I think we're going to have to use Camilla to take out that Grima. Um, so that's not going to be happening for now. Hopefully Camilla will be able to outspeed her. I mean, it is a max invest Grima, but Camilla is new, so hopefully new, win new unit wins. Uh, yes. We'll see how that pans out. Um, and then we're going to le let the, uh, the terrain um, down as well, because I, I think I saw Wings of Mercy 4 there. And also, Robin, Brave Robin, can warp pretty far. Um, and should be able to catch up this Carla here once she gets danced. So I have to be able to avoid both of them. So that's going to be the plan um, to move pretty much out of Carla's range and then lay down the um, so Gratitas terrain to prevent anyone warping in and potentially ruining my day. Uh, but with one dancer, it should be a lot easier to maneuver around or avoid the enemy team here. Um, let me dive in. Yep, about what I expected. Probably would have gotten that if I was able to move more more spaces, but um, I think Your orders? I think uh, I think we're gonna have to go with Camilla to take out that it's Robin so there. Um, we're gonna take out. Or should Let I just back in. up because I already gale forced here, and I already can toad. So once I attack with Ephraim, he is received. essentially stuck. I have no dances left. So I should probably back out with Ephraim. So Krom has the potential to Gale Force, but because he is not going to be attacked by Freyr, his Gale Force won't get charged, and it's so he's not quadding. So I think he's only going to hit Freyr once, so he's definitely not going to get Gale Force. So this is probably where I back out. Um, and I need to review the range of Carla here. So that's three spaces down, gets danced potentially by Ninian, and then three more spaces. Okay. And then Alright, so pleasure. I'm just trying to figure out how to set this up because I it looks like I'm gonna have to move Plumeria because she is in threat range. So I need to move Plumeria. But I also need to lay down the uh, the terrain from uh, Radita here. So I just need to figure out how I'm going to set this up. Uh, in the meantime, I am also trying to complete my Summoner Duels teams. I haven't started my run yet. Still putting the teams together. Um, not a good map for calves unless you have Kade and Lin or a lot of calves that... Well, there's only one calf that passes through trench tiles, or two rather, that pass it through uh, trench tiles, and that's Ursula and Kitty and Lin. Um, and Ursula just doesn't do enough, unfortunately. Um, her weapon is just so... its it, Her weapon lacks DR piercing, which is really what would have made her better. So pairing her with Camilla would be great, but P Camilla is also green, so it's kind of a, an overlap there. You want color you want color advantage so if you're going to bring two green units then you're probably going to have to compensate by bringing either a red um either a blue well yeah either a red or no well green is weak to green is weak to red so you would need to bring a blue to compensate or a strong red to compensate or just a colorless to cover the rest of the matchups so i don't think putting um Ursula on a team would benefit me, even though she can pass the trenches, and most people wouldn't expect her to be, um, yeah, it's not something that most people know that she does, so, well, I mean, once they see the status effect, they'd probably realize what's going on, but I don't think I can fit her onto a team. I like the fact that she has that, uh, dominance in her weapon, but a lot of times she just misses kills, man, like, straight up misses kills, it's just not enough damage. And um, for that reason, there's just stronger nukes in the game. Um, yeah, we're way past the era of um, Ursula killing things. Um, even though there's no cap on the, the amount of damage that she can do, I did find that she pairs best with um, Yoon, um, Mythic Yoon. 
but it's it's just not gonna be enough i don't believe well then again i haven't tested it oh i did test um uh igrin uh Igrin, and she was able to kill byleth with uh, a two cooldown special um with tempo and desperation i had to outsource the desperation uh how did i get it right i broke the dual structure so that she could so use her dual skill because i forgot that she has desperation in her dual skill but um she was able to kill byleth with uh glimmer and luna so both of those were able to get the kill but ready? if you swap out her b skill for the desperation effect the, de the desperation tier 4 desperation she won't get the kill because she won't be able to do enough damage by cutting the dr in half so yes. unless you're gonna pair her with legendary Carmilla, it's so much to think about it also means that she can run the dead eye um and get it off on the second hit so that is also something to think about uh so i might potentially get I, well i was considering giving her dead eye to begin with it's just that I don't see myself picking up another copy of her. She was so hard to pull. And I don't see, I don't know when I'd ever be able to get a merge on her. So it might not be for the best to give her dead, dead eye since typically I like to provide that to units that have um, a lot of use case. And the desperation is really just locked to, locked to her dual button. I don't know how I get that off in something don't like Aether Raids. Um, so yeah, it could get off if you were running her on a capture ball because it's in two hits that she's able to get the dead eye off, which is fantastic. But yeah, it's uh, a lot to plan around. Don't know how I would make that work. But that being said, we are doing pretty well here. Um, this Miasma terrain is actually going to come in pretty handy in taking out some of these units because it does provide a massive stat swing so i'm pretty sure camilla should be able to get this uh, citrine this is it but yeah camilla gets this and we're also going to lay down the, the uh miasma terrain or whatever you want to call it dark fog <laughs> so it should help us with taking out a lot of these uh remaining units in one hit we already have the pot so we should be able to wrap this up on this turn and uh, yeah, pretty interesting map. Not a lot of people run only six units on defense. Um, but if you have a setup that makes it work, then go ahead. I did run into one some time ago when I was Omni tanking, uh, when Omni tanking was still a thing. Um, and it did give me a lot of trouble, but um, I was able to get through it in the end. But I didn't think um, that was still a thing anymore. Um, so yeah, man, you see everything in Ether Raids. Um, a lot of different ways to build defenses, a lot of different inter is different interesting strategies, and this is just another one. Um, low investments, and um, he's in the vault. He's doing the thing. He has mergers on the units oh, that he this. uses, I guess. Um, but yeah, still not done with my summoner duels away. teams. I'm going to work on the Catria balls, Cordelia and Catria. I um, I've, been con I've been contemplating whether I should give Catria the guidance that I picked up. I did. I was able to pick up a copy of uh, Guidance 4 from Rion Pana, but I don't know if I should give it to Katria yet. I'm kind of holding off, so we'll see what decision I make there. And then um, then I'll play the... Uh, I'll probably play my Summoner Duels games either on Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure, but we'll see how it pans out. I think I might do well this time. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, GG's. See you on the next one.